Merry Christmas, Renegade Nation! Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Itogi Keril, Blazer64, Andrew Larman, Mohamed, Karina Wang, Dark Prime25, Christian Andre Cavande, Benjamin Salisbury, Jonathan Caleros, Andrew Elliott, Kimber, Fabiola Macias, The Gaming Warthog, Daniel Anderson, Bick Boy, Julius Urado Jr., Christopher Lee Scott, Soren Nielsen, Neil Bender, Austin Price, The Whiskey Laddie, Brian Emika Njoku, Deshaun Hurd, Andreas Van Hasht. Thank you very much for your support. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, we would very much like to see you over there. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care, guys. John Jafari is at it again. Aww. Yes, Mr. John Tron has uh, made yet another video. This mm -hmm. one is called Surviving Edged Weapons. Did he just get married or did he get engaged? I think he got engaged. I feel like he got married. Oh, wow. I feel or maybe like married. I, saw... yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Remember, we looked at pictures. I think they, they, they think that he got married. Maybe on Instagram. Because I think he posted Ooh. pictures because he had a wedding in New York and you were like, whoa, that looks like a really nice wedding. Oh, well. I, I swear know. we had a conversation about it. You crashed his wedding? We should have. We should have. I had. A, I used to have a big crush on John Tron. Really? <laughs> yeah, we talked about it on the channel. Oh, that's right. That's right. We yeah. talked about it on the channel, and yeah. everybody in the comments was like, "Wendem yeah. and John Tron." John forever. Tron on Twitter. I got to marry the love of my life yep. this weekend, October yep. twenty third. John Tron got married. So October. So nice. Congrats, John. Woo! Congrats. Hey, John. Good for him, man. So oh remember, wow! You said that the ball. Yeah, really I nice. forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> I, so, think, I think you crashed it. You're just playing dumb. I think you were there. <laughs> we, I was there. I saw she was thing. trying to sabotage the John wedding. John. Yeah, you were hi you were hiding behind the dessert tray. Yeah. You were just like we were like, no, where's John. Jacques though? She's just like yeah. she's like, babe, I'm a polygamist now. <laughs> oh. Like, you know, John Tron over her shoulder runs out. It's fine. I'll take Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the start of my harem. <laughs> yeah, it's a harem anime. So here we go again. Oh. It's like a host club. Wow! <laughs> or what is that? Is what or in high school host club, dude? Come on! I know. I've seen I that. Watched anime. it. Yeah. I've seen I, part of that. Anime. I have not, but I've yeah, heard I've enough that I will not. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ashamed. But I watched. It was actually well, pretty funny from what I saw. Of it. Uh, and read the manga. Well, uh, hey, well, well, at least it's not free. Free. Uh, the anime. Have you ever seen? Or the? Have you ever seen free? Free, no, save no, yourself, I've, save yourself I've, don't. I've seen it on Crunchyroll, but I haven't watched it. Ugh. What is it? Pretty much nothing but shirtless dudes swimming, swimming through, and you know. So something I could watch, it's yeah, hot. And, and not feel it's, embarrassed it's pretty about much, it. You'd like it. Well, there's a lot of <laughs> like there's it. there's a lot of homoeroticism yeah, animated in it that Tumblr men. lost their shit over. <laughs> there's a lot of homoeroticism. In it. Yes, let's just say that. So why are you saying I would like it if there's a lot of homoeroticism? I don't know. Girls like man. <laughs> Some girls are into that shit. <laughs> The boy, boy, the the boy, boy stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, exactly. I. <laughs> uh, God. Okay. Unless anyway, the conversation goes, honey. I want to try something new. <laughs> no, no. Bring, bring in the free crew. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> bring in the swim team. <laughs> what have I brought upon this reaction video? <laughs> Sorry, John. Sorry, John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus God! I uh, now see this was a was a very very good idea. <laughs> so okay, John Tron surviving edge weapons. I think we're all familiar with edge weapons in some way. I mean, you know, Mike is almost always carrying a knife on him. It's true. Do you have one right now? I can see it. Yes, he does. Uh, Are you sure that's what obviously? That I know all about edge. Oh yeah, <laughs> a lead singer in two uh, two hardcore <laughs> metal bands. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if you want to check those out, uh, one titles called, such uh, as <laughs> Cease to Be and Violent Death. And... Oh, not only that, but uh, <laughs> in the new band, Paradoxum, you also have a song that's inspired by Persona 5. Yeah, that one's called My Other oh. Self. Yes. Did you, did you say your comment in the mic? I don't know. No? <laughs> I might have to censor that. Said, I said, is there, a, is there a knife in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought okay, it was okay. funny. <laughs> Uh, but it's like no, uh, no, I'm bleeding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> that's a knife. <laughs> yeah, that is a knife. Uh, and then of course, uh, you know, uh, I I've, I've got those two katanas upstairs, which are dull, by the way. I've actually I've actually had people come by and be like, 
Are those real? No. No. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get... I stole them from some, uh, stole them from some uh, Japanese Shad family. Shad thought they were real enough that he was about to grab one the night that I scared the crap out of him outside. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's right. So. <laughs> Who cares if they're real? Like, I was going to say, if, even yeah. if they're real, like, what does that what does that matter? You're not like, like, hello, you know, like they're decoration. Well, it's just people get freaked out because they're thinking, oh, my gosh, someone could grab that and cut my head off. Okay, but every time you go into the kitchen, are you like, oh, my gosh, there's a bunch of kitchen knives over there. Someone's going to cut my head off walking well, into a kitchen? In, in the UK, Usually somebody do. waves <laughs> one around. Yeah, true. <laughs> 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 That is a good point. <laughs> True. So, did you register that kitchen knife, boy? <laughs> uh, Put it in the bin. You're saying it wrong. It's like, oh, am I? Did you register that kitchen knife over well, there? Well, I can't. I can't do accents. So. That's fine. Try it. Try it. Try it. Wait, did you re register that kitchen knife, mate? Is that like Australian? What is that? <laughs> no, no. Actually, that's pretty good. I'd say, I'd say that was. I'd say that was Northy Northy Welsh. That was terrible. Someone from the UK Welsh. make fun of me for me making fun of you. Aww. <laughs> Well, it's not a problem, mate. I mean, honestly, it's it's all it's all bangers and mash. You know, it is. Yeah, I don't really think that anyone actually needs kitchen knives. I mean, nobody needs to own one of those. There's no reason. Nobody for that. needs to cut. Me nobody needs to cut a kitchen. That's ridiculous. Meanwhile, the Australian <laughs> counterpart under the under the sea is just like, right. I know the hell you're on about, mate. I'll need a kitchen knife literally everywhere I go. You see that dingo over there? Tried to steal me baby. <laughs> literally, like a bunch of drop bears just crashing through their windows. Yeah. <laughs> like a literal steroided up kangaroo just kicks in the door I don't know I mean I keep hearing about these drop bears they're apparently the worst so. oh yeah of course uh, there's one thing we have an advantage over uh, Australia in terms of animals Nick uh, revealed this to me last night um, that, that we have possums that actually the Australians look at and go oh my god those are ferocious they are part reptile. They, I mean, have you ever seen one up close? Yes. Holy well, cow. Well, they're marsupials. Which which... Like when you see an Australian possum, they're kind of adorable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're so they're yeah. Small. Apparently, Australians yeah. have seen our possums, and they're like, the fuck's that? I mean, <laughs> like, like... Is that a rant? If you've like, ever had like. one, like, its tail and its feet are, like, scaly. They look like dinosaur I'm feet. Kind of do. Now you guys know about how we feel about every other animal that yeah. lives in your country. Yeah, like, the except, spiders, they're birds, they're friggin'... There's like snakes, dogs, and there's except I, uh, I follow, I follow uh, Wilbur the Wombat on Instagram. <gasps> he's adorable. Oh, yeah, he's great. <laughs> All right. Well, we uh, anyway. In John Tron, surviving edge <laughs> weapons from with uh, John Tron. Uh, let's get this on screen <laughs> and let's see what Johnny Boy's got to say. Oh, it decorated. Da, 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 also, surviving da, da, edge da, weapons da, is a strange da, da, title for a Christmas video. Ooh, what if pooping. Santa brings you a knife? It's pooping. Ah, uh, red turd. You should see a doctor. Oh my gosh, it's really happening. We did it. Right. <laughs> Ready? Three, Three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Kringle, sir. We know you're probably real busy tonight, but we thought we'd give you these. You know, to keep your strength up for the long journey. Oh, you kids. Santa's got something very special for you. <laughs> oh god damn what if this happened to you would you have been able to protect your family from santa's relentless flurry of edge-based attacks i guarantee it <laughs> those kids were on the bad list but what if they weren't that's exactly why you need this surviving edge weapons, the best <laughs> most trained never again succumb to the evil of any point he has, no matter how long sharp or delicious you. <laughs> da, 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 John Tron. Yeah. Today I we're going to take intro. a look at something called Surviving Edged Weapons, which was a film issued to the Canadian Police Force in 1988 with the intent of training said police force how to survive and deal with what they refer to as edge based attacks. You're talking like. <laughs> Edge of a table? Microsoft browser? <laughs> well, none of those edge. actually. Uh, what they mean when they say edge-based attacks is <laughs> primarily blades, uh, with often comical and novel examples. Uh -oh. So yeah, this was meant to be an actual documentary for police on how to best avoid and deflect situations involving knives, katanas, chainsaws, you name it. Okay, basically anything pointy. Pencils, you gotta see this one to believe it. So let's watch. From the beginning, man has possessed the attributes of the animal, and from his human inventiveness 
came weapons that could puncture and slash his enemy's flesh. Did we really have to go back to the fossil record to determine the origin of the shiv? We're going back down the family tree to Homo erectus. We find out why man's got an unquenchable thirst for thrusting. <laughs> Power, dynamic movement. And to illustrate this raw primal vigor, we found the fattest, most mentally incapacitated looking caveman we could possibly find. Gradually, he's probably from Saskatchewan. Very little. Man created a knife culture. A knife culture. Can someone please explain to me what exactly constitutes <laughs> as knife culture? What's he trying to cut? Uh, it, uh, there's an artery right there. Boy, yeah, I know Jesus. I had to go that. I don't know, I can't even know these things. Jesus. That was just a weird place to stab someone. <laughs> right. Nice Where? culture. The neck or something. Yeah. Like right here? The painful yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's like the bit largest artery in the body. Well, yeah, but how would he know that? They don't know science. Enemies. The knife put culture your all the is still alive and deadly. Right here, wouldn't you know it? At home. In the Bronx. What's happening, man? Now that's it. Uh, got the money, man? Let me see the shit, man. The shit's there, man. Where's the money? Five minutes. Five minutes, baby. Oh, man, no money, no shit. The shit was there if you wanted it. But unfortunately, no money, <laughs> no, no shit. shit. The shit was there. Oh, man, five minutes. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh. Oh. Hold on, you <laughs> lost me. Can you explain the rules again? <laughs> well, the knife culture continues to hone its skills, many officers dismiss the edged weapon as a mere relic from man's primitive roots. No, they don't. No, they don't. No one takes a look at this and goes, oh, very fine specimen. Is it, is it from the Neolithic? What museum does it belong to? Hey, you, pig. I wouldn't finish writing that ticket if I were you. Okay, wow. Real scary, Fred Flintstone. What are you gonna do next with that thing? You gonna jump in this car, hop in this car, paddle it with your feet? Like Wilma and Barney? Damn it! Fucking loser! You I should have brought a gun. <laughs> Use of the unexpected is a favorite tactic of edged weapon offenders. I told you three times to stop by on the customer. This time you're going to jail. You're too close. Ah, oh, damn. God damn it. I need a new job. <laughs> ah, shit! Basic perception if you get- He didn't sell that for like a good two seconds after he got hit. You get hit with a real bottle, you're down, dude. If they hit you with enough force, you're going down. Yeah, you're not gonna still be standing there. No. Either. And you're bleeding, too. Yeah, I mean, because that's made some lacerations on your skin. That, you know, ugh, gosh. Get into a knife attack, is there's gonna be one single thrust. You're gonna cleanly and effectively block it. And that's gonna be the end of it. You're gonna. The basic perception is I, I'm, I'm, I'm James Phillips, okay? I read this a rough and tumble world. You think it's gonna go this way or it's gonna go that way, okay? Knives is complicated business. You're gonna bend that knife out of his hand and arrest the bad guy not seeing it. Doesn't work that way, sports fans. You hear that, sports fans? You're lagging <laughs> behind. You make your resident knife expert, James Phillips, have to repeat himself. Mean, get your shit together. I understand what he's saying, though. Fucking he is sports right. fans. Things go from bad to horrible real quick. Right away, you're in deep shit. You're in bad shape. You're in a bad place. You're in what I'd call it not good, in a lower than ideal, not where you'd want to be situation. <laughs> Our goal is to help you avoid becoming an edged weapon statistic by teaching you how to make a proper threat assessment and how to react with control. Now, what we really want to instill in you is not just how to spot an edged weapon, but also what to look for and what to do about it. Okay, in fact, just behind me right now, it's a great example. We don't know what that could be. You can just see the hilt of his sword poking out there. Could be his Vihander, a katana. Jumping Jehovah James, that's a scimitar he's got. Very formidable sword. Don't want to tangle with that thing. Designed to kill when making contact with the body. Now remember, the first thing you got to do in this scenario is Love stay the Canadian calm. accent, John. If you don't get him on the first shot, you've always got four more. <laughs> Hey, I got him in one, but don't feel bad if you don't, okay? Take as many tries as you need. See, what I want you to really internalize is that this method is nearly 100% effective, because even if he does manage to get in close, okay, he's really not going to want to get hit with those slugs, okay? He's going <laughs> to avoid it, as you can see, at all costs, because it's going to hurt and burn his internal organs. Edged weapon attacks often occur in unlikely situations. 
Police department. Come on to the door. Now, hold on. Is this <laughs> in the fucking Claymore? Have a Claymore That's Mighty Bull Talk for someone within crusading distance. <laughs> my wife abandoned me. My children hate me. He's just now like, this cop is wolf. knocking at my door. And dude, dude, dude is like... Fucking Excalibur right next to me. It's like that article I showed you yeah. with the guy that had the battle axe sitting next to him. No, that did Say again, Nick. It's the article that I showed you that the guy was sitting there playing video games and he had a battle axe. sitting next to him, yeah. He had a battle axe literally sitting next to him within arm's reach and a guy broke down his door to try to rob him and so he just grabbed the battle axe and was like, uh-uh, and it's fucking like, hacked the dude. It's like you broke in the wrong house, motherfucker. Yeah. That dude like, had to be like, oh my god! <laughs> Whatever, like, he saw that guy coming it's at It's like cosplay night for your D&D &D <gasps> session and so they're like, you're like, barbarian, just rages. He was like, like <laughs> I heard the door break wow, open. Full like, character. Yeah, you know, I grab my axe, I turn, I step, and I hack. <laughs> he, he, he leaves. <laughs> like, when it kicks off, I promise you, like, I'm going to be on the news as that guy that's like, well, he's got a plate carrier, but it looks like there's a broadsword strapped to the back of it. It's like, <laughs> here we go, sports fans. It's like, he's out of ammo, he's swinging. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Like, wearing, like, a Batman cowl, like, have a sword. I figured you'd be dressed up as that owl and just take dump, gigantic dumps on top of Well, that's how stars. it starts. <laughs> oh, okay. That's and then once starts. my followers break me out of prison, then... Uh, the Russian okay. man. Angry Batman with a sword after I run out of ammo. Yeah. That's how I'm going to die. I can see that now. The mar you know, the martyr. You dying atop, standing atop a police car, you know, sword in hand, just being like... The, give me liberty or give me death. It's, go, it's gonna Headshot. be it's gonna be a mix of quotes from the Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan movies and Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Somebody like <laughs> Rachel, and then just like he's like swinging at people with a sword. <laughs> Tell him martyr, true martyr dies. <laughs> Cop, uh, this cop's like coming at you and you like take the sword and hack his arms off and you're just like, where do you want to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Swear to me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, it's, you get up, you crack one of them in the jaw, they go down, they start crying. It's like, uh, it's like I was wondering what would break first. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm your gonna mind mix, or your body. I'm going ah! to mix up the off. quotes and the accent. So it's going to be like, <laughs> crush your enemies. Wait. That's the wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> or you can or uh, it's like, Conan, what is greatest life? To crush your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> See them driven before you and to hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> Sorry, a little Christopher Walken there. <laughs> Sorry, let's get back to this. <laughs> right next to me. Ah! What? Damn. No, that did not just happen. It did. How would they make this with a straight face and then show it to the Academy of Police Officers as official training protocol? Adding to the threat are a host of improvised weapons. A baseball cap with razor blades <laughs> sewn to the back, Whoa. which can be swung by the bill what? cut your face. This is the legend, greatest video I've ever seen. a Mexican odd job. <laughs> and by day, your cabeza by night. He is trabajo extraño. <laughs> Common household <laughs> items can yes. produce extreme damage. That's true. An this attack is true. with this grapefruit cutter would be like getting stabbed with two knives. This improperly stored Swiss Army knife could be like getting stabbed with three. There's no way to know for sure, but these four <laughs> regular knives taped together would likely cause a sensation of four knives That's like dead money. once. There's simply no telling how far this rabbit hole goes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. God. Gravity blades can be drawn and used instantly. Gravity blades is the speed with which attacks can occur. <laughs> Buck knives can be locked in place when drawn, even with one hand. Please, just, 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 just have mercy on me. Watch how fast someone who's really skilled can get into action with a knife. Wait, what? Were there any frames between when he was standing and when the knife came out? I didn't see it, dude. Go back, go back, I didn't see it. There's no frames, dude. That's just, he's been holding the knife Bruce the entire Lee. time. Go to a baby picture of him. <laughs> he just had that knife the whole time. He never took that out. Officers who fall victim to edged weapons usually commit at least one critical error, like misreading what could be a weapon. Let's try it again this time. Why don't you leave the pens in the tray before you come through? Sure. Oh, what? In the middle of a police station? Who does that? The you could have left the individual pens. Has the best chance of harming you. Yeah. It sure is. Dude, you could have just put the pens in the tray. Let's be real, okay? Now you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Uh, was it fucking cool? 
absolutely was fucking cool. Was it worth it? <laughs> no. I'm not so sure. You were just on your way to see your grandma in Miami Beach. You didn't have to <laughs> savagely murder that airport attendant. I'm not one to judge, but... <laughs> a third type of behavior usually occurs as a defensive reaction by an offender. Get away from here! A taunting gesture. Drop the razor! And what he's telling you is, don't invade my space or I'll attack you. Soon after this grandiose display, he will retreat back to his den to tend to his newborn cubs once again secure in his domain. Whether you actually have to use deadly force will depend on the suspect's action. Holy shit. Holy Hail shit, lady. Hail, Hail Satan. Satan. That escalated what? quickly. Rick, she's got Hail knife. Satan. God damn it, Rick, take cover. That knife is fully loaded. Drop the knife. Lady, I didn't want to do this. I told you to drop the darn knife. <laughs> 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 when you do have to use your firearm, remember this acronym, SMENS. Go on, take notes. You, you better not forget that. that SMENS. SMENS. How, could, how could you ever forget that? That's you sexist. shoot to stop the attacker's threatening action. Shoot, that's a good one. Remember that. Shoot first, MENS later. <laughs> you move out of the attacker's path. Where are you moving to? You on the run now? Quick, get out of there before the police come. Oh wait, I am the police. You're going to jail for a long time, son. You evaluate whether the attacker has been incapacitated. Yeah, I shot him. I, <laughs> he's dead. You neutralize the continuing threat if it has not been stopped. Neutralize? Okay, th th this one was already accomplished in step one, in step shoot, okay? Don't need this one, it's redundant. And finally, you scan the area for other threats. Uh, you're the threat <laughs> in this particular situation. Um, so unless you're scanning in the mirror, don't scan. Surely just be smart, if I'm being... Uh, uh actually, I got something so to say scanning... about that. Shouldn't scan be first? You know, you scan the area. That... Yeah, but, but no, this this isn't. How do you enter an, a building? This is like after. This, this is after you. Oh, after after you, you've okay. established that there's a threat, uh, and, and you're you and your you're firearm. and okay. you're forced to use your firearm. What okay. happens? Initiative next? has already been rolled. There's okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't okay. how to you're enter a room. Scan with a nice shoot. Shoot. move. I mean, <laughs> you really got to evaluate. Just don't even got to move. Just just shoot. Just remember to shoot the guy. It's really all it's got to say. Oh. Oh. Cute. How many edged weapons do you see now? What? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Edged. 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 Who made that? Don't know. Oh. Oh. One year later. Oh. <sighs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I didn't expect to see you two again this year on account of the aortic ruptures. <laughs> so tell me, this year have you been naughty or nice? <laughs> oh, God, you little bastards! I'll show you the true meaning of Christmas! <laughs> Remember, smash. Step, Step one, one, shoot. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Step two, move. <laughs> nice. Step three, evaluate. <laughs> Step four, neutralize. <laughs> Step five, scan. <laughs> they did it. I like how they're scanning their own house. <laughs> they killed Santatron. <laughs> What is that wave? That's like the beauty queen. British. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Not Mike. Not Mike. Industrial light and match. Potential threat. Wow. A dead meme. <laughs> I just want to give a huge shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Many of you out there have been asking me for my shaving routine, so I thought I would share. You know, I may have a lot of sharp and shiny things laying around, but what do you think I use this? Why would you think that? I use the highest quality razors only, which is why I use Dollar Shave Club. And it's not just razors you can get from them. You know, it's shaving creams, lotions, deodorants, salves, you name it. 
They got everything to keep you Creamy. feeling rugged and fresh throughout the day. I'm really talking about everything. Okay? They've even got, yeah, they got wipes. fresh and tingly peppermint butt one white Charlie's. <laughs> Charlie's. I don't know if I'd want peppermint to where the on one white my hoo down. I know what I'm talking about, yeah. okay? I used all the shade like, club myself. Your butt I get a like box from them every month. You can mix and match with them every month before. with their super... The peppermint... Weren't they butt wipes? Didn't you just say that they have butt I'm wipes? sure they're butt wipes. I don't... They got, they got, I don't pepper know about that. Everyone mentions the butt wipes. I think... Fresh throughout huh. the day. I'm really talking everything, okay? They've even got... They got fresh and tingly peppermint one wipe. It says tingly. I really don't know if I want my butt to be tingly. Yes, butt wipes. It says butt wipes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why would you want peppermint ass wipes? That would hurt. That's like... I know what I'm talking about. Like, oh, imagine... Oh, imagine <laughs> having, like, a violent shit that just, like... Imagine if hammer wipes. <laughs> just, like, you should have put that thing down there. I'm, I'm, just, a know, violent, just a violent... Just a violent shit. Just imagine you have a violent shit, and it's, like... And Bleeding. It, and, yeah, like what if you have hemorrhoids? Or like you bit into an apple that had a razor blade in it? Yeah, or like you know, or well, hemorrhoids. Or hemorrhoids. People have that all the time. It makes your butt bleed. True. So imagine you have that, and your butt is already rubbed, flipping raw, and then you pull out peppermint and rub it. Hey, gotta be minty fresh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't think I'd want peppermint in my. Maybe asshole. if like you're a Hydra agent, like order only comes through pain. The only. <gasps> thing <laughs> the only thing I can think of is there has been a obvious trend among millennials and for essential oils. No, for, for uh, eating ass. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that would make you minty fresh. So yeah, do you think John so Tron is an advocate like for ass eating? Well, he is a millennial. He's um, younger than me. So, do you think that John Tron eats ass? Just He's married now. He's just married, swipe yeah. some little jelly just packets of apple. Because you're married doesn't barrel, mean you eat cracker ass. Barrel. Like, what kind of argument is that? I mean, if it, if it means that I can't ever there is no get married because <laughs> I won't eat ass, then I'll just be single forever. Because I mean, sorry, but it's the requirement. It's prereq, yeah. not my thing. Prerequisite yeah. for a marriage is that you eat ass. <laughs> what are you saying, honey? What Jesus. are you saying? What are you What are you telling the internet? Right now? Broke the rules. Well, <laughs> shut up. Octo, now now is not the time to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, John Tron. At least I know this video John won't get Tron. hit by Copa. I eat ass. Oh, no, it won't get hit by Copa, but yeah, we, we may well, we may be well. demonetized. Yeah, maybe. May what, so we're talking about eating ass? Yes. Oh. Yes. Mm. Ruined. <laughs> also, 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 <laughs> violent shits might also be, uh, <laughs> might, might also be a little bit of a trigger there. Well, I, when I heard that, I was like, that's a new one for this. Like, I don't. <laughs> Think I've heard like I've heard a lot of weird stuff on this channel, but not but violent shit. Not yet. I mean, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, everyone yeah, has had a. Violent I just haven't shit. heard it described that. I way. mean, I don't, I don't hand. I don't really do spicy food, so yeah, the spicy poops. Like I know. It's, well, the double it's dragons. I mean, that's a whole other thing too. You ever had the? You ever had the double dragon? I've never double actually dragon. had the. Is double that dragons. where you poop and throw up at the same yep, time? Yep, sure yeah. is. I've had that. That happened yeah, to so me live on a reaction. Whoa. And Spew, I had it recorded. Spewing fire at both ends. Well, Wait, you had luckily he the left thing. Why? I left. Record, the, in no, I recorded, recorded you it. pooping? No, I didn't record myself pooping. <laughs> I was on the couch. It was me and Caleb. We were over there recording, and we uh, I thought we were going to do like three or four videos. You know? And then all of a sudden, I was just like, it's just like oh. oh, boy, oh, boy. I get up, <laughs> and I walk away in the middle of the video, and you hear me in the background going, like, <laughs> I had to bomb. Uh, velociraptor hear, noises. Yeah, it's a, he, he heard velociraptor noises. I come, I, I realize... Like halfway through me vomiting. Did you have your mic on? No. Because remember that we used to have no, those, no, like, the little lava mics. Leaks. Well, we, we still got them we over had there. Mics. Yeah, we and... still, yeah, we we used to, but they're over there. We can still use them. But overall, um, I remember walking back to the to the couch, and I'm, I, Caleb was just like, "You all right?" And I'm just like, "I shit myself." <laughs> so we're gonna end the video here. Uh, <laughs> but I ended the video. Did you Caleb post left. it? Did uh, you yes, post I it? did. Oh I went gosh. upstairs. I went upstairs. I took a shower. I threw away my underwear, and I and I was just like, uh, I'm just gonna go to bed. Let's do a rene renegades react to that. No. <laughs> okay. Well, after this video, okay, fine, fine. We'll do that. No, we can include it with this. Yeah, we can. Because we're talking about violent shits and peppermint wipes. I've already seen it though. I don't want to see it. You can mix and match what you receive every month with their super intuitive graphic interface, and you can change the frequency with which you receive each item. It really beats going to the store every month. I just come straight to your doorstep, and you're ready to go. If you want to shave the John Tron way, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash John Tron to get the shave starter set for only $5 and check out all their great holiday gift sets. After that, the restock box ships full-size products at regular price.
<laughs> if their shave star has starter set has razor blades in it, I might order that for five dollars because that's a pretty good deal. Oh well, yeah, that's pretty good. I've well, heard I've heard multiple people say it's a pretty good deal. Oh yeah. What is shaving? I don't need the peppermint. <laughs> well, dollar beer. Well, they do have the dollar beer razors. club as well, Mike, where they send out beard oil. And I know all what that. beards are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have heard of that. Which, which, here soon, Mikey, you're going to be uh, the beardiest boy on the couch again because I'm going to be shaving most of this off. What if I shave mine off? Then the mm. internet will feel. Then I will be the beardiest boy on the couch. <laughs> the beardiest. Beardiest. What if I just cut yeah, I need more razor blades to oh, finish God. making my hat. What if with? I come in like completely hairless, like no eyebrows or anything? I don't think people would notice you. They'd be like, "Who's that new skinny guy? Is that Seth Everman?" <laughs> so no eyebrows and also no hair. Just like yeah, completely just just, just completely bald. Yeah, like uh, I look like that was the chameleon. You can in do Spider-Man. that, but you have to wa- you have to wax all your body hair. That's the rule. Like, That's what I'm saying. Oh, God, no! I watched. Okay, I watched Unas. Uh, Nick actually watched Unas oh, on us later or earlier, to, uh, like a few days ago, and uh, Markiplier uh, waxed his pubes. <laughs> Did he wax Actually, his both butt? of them did. No, he waxed his pubes like here. Both of yeah, them had to wax their pubes. What about his pubes. balls? Oh, okay. Did he him wax and, his balls they had, his a butt? Little, they had a little spinner, and it was like a two truths and a lie, mm. and both of them failed all four of their two truths and a lie, and then they had to spin the thing to see what they waxed. Oh. And Ooh. both of them landed on pubes. Oh, my God. And uh, I think... Um, so, but where does Mark that stop? Also had to Is do it just like neck? the main region, yeah. or does it, it continue under? It, it's like right here, just like up at it's the top. It's not like taint. <laughs> oh, that would be too much. No, no, no. It was just even like, for me. It's just like I just know, region. like if you get like a Brazilian, it's like every. Yeah, Brazilian's like clean. It's literally like they just had to stick one wax strip to their pubes. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> not like, not like they didn't have to go to like. No, no, they didn't have to do that. I was just kind of joking with the generality somewhere. of it. I wasn't really expecting we'd start talking about like just getting in there. <laughs> hey, we, we got. We I should have. I should have known. Not going to watch that. I don't want to watch that. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Like I'll get... random, random clip at the end. Just like we like <laughs> if you if you took like all the clips from this and you like put it at like the at like the end like random snippets. You know, kind of like they do. Um, gosh, what what video does that? Is a um, cinema sins. Yeah, where they take like an actual clip from the you know at the end, and at the very end, it's just like, do you mean he waxed his taint? Like he just like taint. you mean he waxed his taint? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Uh. I'm still surprised John missed out on the joke that I just made though. Like, uh, which is he was talking about Dollar Shave Club and all the razor blades. He's like, so if you ever want to make your razor blade hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So. Oh, that'd be good. That's true. That he might, he good. might have recorded that at the very beginning. Who would take the, the time to make that thing, though? Yeah, you have to. He sewed it on. Yeah, and it's like the whole like razor blade and the Halloween apple. Like, there's never been a reported case of that. And that's like, true. Why you know, do they say that someone? I don't know. It's just like these weird urban myths, that, like it, like the uh, razor blades, needles under the gas tank handles, and stuff like that. Yeah, I heard about that one. Why would you do that? Do people like sit? Okay, do they do that? And then would they like sit off in the distance and like watch and then be like, hee 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 hee? Some people like, just want to watch the that. world burn, Wyndham. I, I mean, maybe, but it's like, do they like? I hate people that use gas, and then they drive away. <laughs> And they just make the assumption someone will get hurt? Or do I they, don't know. Do they get their gym, jimmies by, like, sitting off to the side and watching them get hurt? Maybe. Maybe they're like, this will be awesome if I see it on the news later. <laughs> it's <a> AOC. <laughs> oh, that's right. She Yeah, she'd see that and just be like, we need to ban all needles right now. She's like, I got your Green New Deal right here. It's like, go to pump gas. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Can't destroy terrible. the environment if you don't have any fingers left. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see her Twitter posts? About <laughs> I've seen a lot of them. I, I'm sure I have it. The one you're talking about it was like fucking yeah. All these people worried about getting gas during the hurricane. Like if they were driving electric cars, they wouldn't have to worry <laughs> about how to get gas if the power went out. What? And I was like, Do you not understand electricity? Let's, Genius. Let's let's. Decipher this I was like, I, I all these Are people you? on my friends list think she's like some kind of like see God Messiah said, or something. People make fun of me like, for being an anarchist, and it's like these are the people they look up to, you yeah. know. It, it, I I've mean, seen what makes you cheer. Oh, Your booze mean nothing. Oh, by the way, <laughs> speaking of electric cars, uh, speaking of electric cars, uh, let me ask you this: uh, If I got a, one of the Tesla Cyber Trucks, would you all judge me? No, no. Thank God, because. I had a family, uh, my sister, I told my sister, I'm thinking about getting a Cybertruck. She looks at me and she goes, are you made of money? And I'm like, it's not that expensive. She's like, how much is it? And I'm like, 
about 30 some odd thousand. She's like, bullshit, pull it up right now. And They're I not, it up, yeah. And I looked at it, and she saw the price, and she's like, that's just like, didn't have anything to respond after oh, that. Oh, wow. Like, people cheap. judge, like, people are so all, quick to judge. All the Boogaloo boys are pretty excited about that thing. I mean, oh, I like, want it. That's I like a, it. it's a good survival vehicle. Set up some solar panels at a remote location and just, you know, recharge it over a couple of days. Yeah. 500 mile range. The back of it. Yeah. Well, I'm getting the mid grade one that goes strap up to on your, 350. Strap on your miles. Master Chief cosplay. Be like, yeah. All right, we're warthogging this thing. Put a chain gun in the back of it. Yeah. And just go kill some Covenant. <laughs> Don't threaten me this with the time. This is the Tesla truck. I like to call it the warthog. Uh, sir, it looks more like a puma. This one still some water. The hell's a puma? You, you know, like a cat. You're making that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the red versus blue references. Jeez Louise. So, above all, uh, I would say <laughs> that video is that, that they sent to that, kind of stupid. Kind of reminds me of those old sex ed videos we had to watch back in, uh, back in like, middle school and uh, high school. I also like how they ended their training video with, like, how many edge weapons do you see now being like, yes, you should absolutely shoot all of the dogs that you see. And it's just like, that pisses me off about police training. I saw a video yesterday where a cop, I guess here in the States, was in a house with a bunch of kids sitting around. There was this tiny, medium-sized dog, right? And the cop walks past the dog with the girl sitting with her back mm -hmm. against the bottom of the couch the dog steps in front of her and barks twice, and that dude pulls his gun and shoots that girl and the dog. Yep. Whoa. Yep. It's gone viral. Damn. And Video it's just photos, like, yeah. why? What was that dog going to do to you, dude? Like, Nothing. Like, fucking, like, drag your pants leg? Like, dude. Well, did you see that poor, like, I that poor kind UPS of driver in Miami? Or I heard this? about that one. Mm -hmm. Man, they just shot the crap out of that truck with him in it. Like, mm-hmm. Over a couple of jewelry store robbers that didn't steal any, they didn't even get away with anything. It's it, you see the whole thing about it is, I I'm not a hundred I'm not against cops in a lot of ways, but I believe that the responsibility needs to be taken for whenever mm -hmm. actions like that are done. One hundred percent. One of my whole, whole things is just the thing, blowing dogs away all the time. I don't. Well, but see, that's understand. the thing though is when when they do get successfully sued though, the taxpayers have to foot the bill. So it's like. You know, no, I mean, if, get, I mean, if anything, the cop gets fired. Yeah, the cop is one hundred percent gone. Never gets worked in law enforcement I don't, again. I don't think it's necessarily like where they need to be sued. I think it's you need like, charged with something. I think they need to be charged. Yeah, exactly. They need to be charged. Oh. They need to possibly lose their job. They need to like possibly take you know and serve be, time. Oh well, yeah, and but... like if you if you kill like a little kid, I don't think you should just be suspended without pay. Like I feel like maybe if you well, kill the, a dog, kid, you should be suspended without yeah, pay. But the kid didn't die. I don't think. Yeah, but still, like shooting a kid. Yeah, shooting a kid. You have to. Apparently, he was charged with like battery with a firearm or something like that like not even Seems like a charge that sounds assault like, yeah, yeah no, it, that's a, that's, that's pure assault though i mean if you take it, if you take weapon. like the yeah. averages like normal citizenry has like it's like a 90 like six percent conviction rate and cops have like a 95 percent acquittal rate so mm. it's wow. like the sis, yeah, the whole fraternity uh, thing it's just like it's like we're it's like if one cop goes down we all go down no don't go by the homogenous thing. You're all individuals. You're all part of the system. Be individuals. Don't yeah. judge everything. It's like, oh, one cop does everything bad. Therefore, all cops are bad. Oh, one cop does one thing good. Therefore, all cops are good. No, there's I good mean, cops, there's bad cops. Decide which ones are which, and then let it be. I all mean, right? they can draw that line, but Virginia basically just said, say when. <laughs> so it's like, oh. Well, I know. Well, yeah, Zach. Well, like I said, Zach joined the militia. I mean, and so did his wife. I mean, they're both, they both love their guns, and they're not giving them up anytime soon. It's, it's about to get weird. Yeah. It, oh, it is. I mean, Tazewell was the first county. I mean, that's one county over from, from Wise, and then Wise County did it second, and then all of a sudden, now all these other counties are signing up militias, and pretty much the entire good. southwest region is armed and ready to go. It's like, good luck. I will, I will say, on a, just on a serious note, with this, though, there's actually really good drills. So within 21 feet, to draw your firearm, either like outside the waistband or from concealment, against somebody that's rushing with a knife, is nearly impossible. So knives are actually really dangerous. Yeah. In close range, knives are pretty much like number one. And we kind of laughed at some of the scenarios in this, but it's really hard not to get stabbed if someone wants to stab you. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying when he was talking yeah. about... Um, 
like, oh, you think you're just going to deflect the one stab and it's going to be all over. It's like, I see what he's saying because I've seen like martial arts videos with dudes like doing demonstrations of like how it would actually be to go against yeah. like Krav Maga like or something. So you shit can get like stabbed that. like seven times in like one second. I mean, any like, any martial arts instructor I've met worth their like, salt, they talk ridiculous. about knives, they're like, oh, you're going to get cut. Like, it's going to happen. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care what, you know. Yeah. I mean, Krav Maga is probably one of the best defensive ones against knives, against, it's against generally like, weapons based it's one of the best anti like hand like hand melee weapon based uh defense defense martial arts because it's it's the Mossad, it's the israeli military i mean yeah. they deal with a lot of shit and uh i would say that would probably be the most effective training for cops when it comes to close range uh dealing with uh dealing with stuff like that i, I think anyone in in areas where they're not where they don't feel safe with with bladed weapons you know because Bladed weapons are a bigger danger in close range. Mm-hmm. I mean, as Micah said, and um, you know it. Well, I mean, they they the, can't they can be. I mean, don't underestimate <clears throat> them. I mean, oh no, no. I mean, well, and you look at uh, here's the thing: people are always going to like bad people are always going to seek out to do bad things, whether they do it with a gun, whether mm-hmm. they do it with a knife, or whether they do it with a big friggin' truck that they drive through a crowd of people. Hey, mm-hmm. just or that mix up some acid. Why not? Throw exactly, it on face, acid. You know. I mean, it. I mean, it's. I mean, you could do that with at home products. Very easy to do. It's not very hard to make a bomb either. No, it isn't. And the truth is, everyone is always, you know, in like high panic about everything. But when you disarm the public to defend themselves, I mean, when co- I mean, when seconds matter, cops will be there in minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even if they do get there, I mean, I mean, like, there's no guarantee you're going to be saved 100. Mm-hmm. percent The only way you can truly defend yourself is if you're educated and you have the and you have the means to defend yourself, whether that's a gun, whether that's a baton, whether that's pepper spray, whether that's anything that can stave off an attacker. All you have to do is just take, like, you know, just take one of your katanas down. From sharpen above. it. Yeah, well, yeah, take it out and then go I to a sharpening. I might take it to Jason Knight. If Jason, and then, if Jason and then Knight go, will sharpen it. Go take it to a sharpening stone and say, hold on just a minute, Mr. Burglar. <laughs> yeah. And just sit and sharpen your katana for a few seconds and then you're good to go. I mean, yeah. velocity cuts, so even if it doesn't have a sharp edge, if you swing it and it's got any kind of geometry, like, I feel it's like going to open something up. just pull it out, up. someone might be a little wigged yeah. out. If well, you just like, ha-ha! Like, there was actually a going. fight that happened on a train. That these two guys were beating the crap out of this one dude. Another dude walks up with a sword, literally pulls it out, and then the video ends. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I want to see what happens! Right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> So, again, everybody, this was John Tron, Surviving Edged Weapons. Uh, if you want to see more from John Tron, you know what to do. There's a link in the description down below that will take you to the original video. Be sure to ch- subscribe to John Tron. Love John Tron. Always love the stuff that he puts out. And also, if you want to see more from us, you know what to do. You hit that subscribe button. You ring that bell to stay notified. You like the video. And leave a comment down below. And if you want to check out these two awesome people right here in the corner, Please. we have uh, Miss Wyndham Rice. <laughs> and we also have Octomock. I'll talk uh, more about Taint. Oh, that's what all oh, my yeah. streams are about. Yeah. Ta- all of our streams about taint. Yeah, yeah. Just an ASMR video, uh, video of you just whispering about taint. We're waxing it. Just be like, just, just, just be like. It'll just be like taint. Oh my gosh! Did you hear him? He said, or an ASMR video of waxing taint. It's like no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because oh yeah, it'd be an ASMR video, all right. Oh. And just like all of a sudden, you hear, you just hear, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds out there. I'm sure somebody will be into it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh. Hey, there's some freaks out there. There are some freaks. Content's uh. content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So, again, everybody, thank you all very much for tuning in. So, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Wyndham. Octo. Micah. And we will see you later, everybody. Why Peace did, out.